इसीलिए तब तक ज्ञानी लोग मुनि लोग श्रद्धापूर्वक ज्ञान और वैराग्य से युक्त होकर संसार से विरक्त होकर और कृष्ण तत्व जीव तत्व माया तत्व को जानकर कृष्ण के प्रति भक्ति करेंगे यदि श्रवण करना है कृष्ण के संबंध में श्रवण करो कृष्ण के संबंध में ही कीर्तन करो कृष्ण का ही ध्यान करो इसी तरह से तुम्हारा सब अनर्थ सब प्रकार के पाप ताप सब दूर हो जाए इसलिए कहा है स्वर्णता ओम ज्ञान ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुर जैन तस्म श्री गुरव So Shri Gurudev has quoted the previous verse which we just heard about the nature of the absolute truth that he is advait gyan paratatva and that he has he is viewed by different uh transcendentalists who are trying to realize him uh, but because of their angle of vision Uh, not all are realizing him completely so shivat bhagavatam it is telling the process by which the absolute truth can be fully and completely and perfectly realized and understood so shivat bhagavatam uh, has a group of verses in which the process of hearing about krishna hearing about that absolute truth from the correct source will affect within the heart of the listener the ability to actually attain transcendental realization direct realization of the supreme absolute truth so in the beginning jun bhagavatam is telling shrinvatam svakata krishna punya shravana kirtana hridhyantak sto hi badrani vi dunoti suhrit satam Here the process of hearing Krishna katha is described when the devotee begins this process of hearing shrinvatam svakata krishna that means the transcendental topics that are described by the realized souls who have understood that absolute truth uh, so when they describe shri krishna bhagavan the absolute supreme personality of godhead his transcendental name his form his rupa nam guna rupa lila his pastimes we had and all of his eternal dham and associates when this is described by a realized soul then punya shravana kirtana this process of hearing and chanting is highly glorious and highly effective ah hridyantak sto hi badrani vidhunoti surit satam what happens at that time Shri Krishna Bhagavan himself in the form of Hari Katha he personally enters within the heart of the devotee because Krishna and Krishna's name Krishna's topics Krishna's form they are all advait gyan paratatva they're all non different than Krishna there is no difference so when Krishna himself comes within the heart of the devotee in through hearing the process of hearing Hari Katha then what happens hridyantaksto hi abhadrani vidunoti krishna himself begins to cleanse within the heart all abhadra abhadras means things which are very inauspicious things that are have accumulated within our heart for many many lifetimes many misconceptions these are called anarthas unwanted things uh when these illusory uh ideas and conceptions are accumulated within the heart it is not possible to understand the absolute truth so through the process of hearing krishna katha then krishna himself begins to cleanse the heart of that devotee then nashta prayeshu abhadreshu 
नित्यम भागवत सेवया भागवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर भवती नैष्टिकी Now as Srila Gurudev was explaining how the process of a uh, gradual advancement takes place how the devotee goes step by step from the stage of shraddha faith and then coming into the stage of sadhu sangha then anartha nivritti all of the anarthas cleansed from the heart coming to the stage of nishta firm faith unbreakable faith uh -huh. so here the shloka of shrimad bhagavatam is telling that nashta prayishu abhadreshu nityam bhagavata sevaya by constantly <coughs> and regularly serving the two types of bhagavats nityam bhagavata sevaya there is the grantha bhagavat that means the shrimad bhagavatam the supreme lord himself in the form of the vedic shastra and then there is the bhakta bhagavat the pure unalloyed devotee who has attained pure devotion to the supreme lord so nityam bhagavata sevaya when one is serving both of these bhagavats nityam constantly 24 hours daily without any break then nashta prayishu abhadreshu when the abhadras within the heart are almost cleared not fully but almost cleared uh, then bhagavati uttama shloke bhaktir bhavati naishtiki then to the supreme personality of godhead who is known as uttama shloka the supreme lord who is glorified by the highest transcendental poets with the most beautiful spiritual poetry that supreme personality of godhead divine devotion uh, pure bhakti to his lotus feet it comes within the heart and then bhakti or bhavati naishtiki the devotee becomes firmly convinced firmly situated now there is no other conceptions of the absolute truth that can sway him from his devotion to the supreme lord then tadara jastamo bhava kamalo bhadayaschaye chaita etair anavitam stitam satve prasidati now when all the effects of the material nature in the form of the three modes of nature Uh, rajas tamas especially the lower qualities of nature these qualities of passion and ignorance when they gradually when the influence gradually becomes reduced then kama lobha dayaschaye then the effect that they have within the heart of the conditioned soul meaning lust becoming lusty becoming greedy becoming angry becoming envious all of these kam krod loba moha mada matsarya now the, these effects become reduced kam loba dayasche cheta etaira na vidham now the soul the pure consciousness of the soul becomes anavidham that means it becomes unaffected by these lower effects of the modes of nature and stitam satve prasidati now he becomes situated in pure goodness unaffected and he becomes prasidati now he begins to taste the transcendental nature of the soul as being eternally full of bliss and full of knowledge now evam prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti yoga taha bhagavad tatva vigyanam mukta sangasya jayate so now evam prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti yoga taha by this bhagavad bhakti yoga by performing bhakti yoga to the supreme lord then evam prasanna manaso his mind becomes so peaceful so tranquil so completely fixed and satisfied hmm? bhagavat tattva vigyanam now he attains vigyan vigyan means realized knowledge not theoretical knowledge practical realized knowledge direct uh, understanding and perception of the absolute truth bhagavat tattva vigyanam and then mukta sangasya jayate now he attains what is called mukti complete liberation from this material world this cycle of karmic repeated birth and death being forced to take birth and die repeatedly now that devotee through this process he attains this state of liberation and then what is the final verse Vidyate, 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 vidyate
Shiyam te chasya karmani drishta evat manishvare. So, bidyate hridaya gruntis. This hridaya grunti means a knot which has completely enveloped our heart. The soul, the jivatma, has become tied up with this knot of material illusion and misconception, material attachments in this world. So, pityate means to pierce that knot. When that knot is pierced, and chityam te sarva samshaya, all doubts, all illusions, completely cut to pieces. Chityam te sarva samshaya. Chiyam te chasya karmani. Then the chain, this cycle of repeated karmic birth and death, it becomes completely stopped. And then drishta evat manishvare. Now that very fortunate soul, he begins to have transcendental vision. Drishta evat manishvare. He realizes that the Supreme Atma, the Paramatma, he is the Ishwara. He is the controller of me, of all jivas, of this whole universe and all spiritual and material creations. That becomes his realization. So Srimad Bhagavatam is telling us how powerful is this process of hearing Harikata, Krishna Kata, from the lips of the transcendentally realized soul. So we are very fortunate that we have come to this assembly where there is such a personality, the Bhakta Bhagavat, the personification of the Srimad Bhagavatam in the form of the pure devotee of Krishna, our beloved Srila Gurudev, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. If we hear this Harikata from his lotus mouth, then constant hearing, constant service, this will be the result that we will all attain. Hare Krishna. एक बात सभी अच्छी तरह से समझ लेंगे हम लोग कोई भी ईश्वर नहीं है जीव कभी भी भगवान या ईश्वर या ब्रह्म नहीं हो सकता संसार का कोई पदार्थ भी ईश्वर नहीं है कुछ लोग आते हैं इस स्टेज में भी यहां पर भी आते होंगे कहते होंगे तुम भी ब्रह्म हो मैं भी ब्रह्म हूं सब सर्वम खली दम ब्रह्म अरे तुम ब्रह्म हो तो दुख से बिल बिला क्यों रहे हो तुम्हारी मृत्यु हो जाती है भगवान तो कभी मरते नहीं तुम तो बूढ़े हो जाते हो ये सब पक तक जाता है भगवान राम का कृष्ण को अभी मोछे नहीं आई और कभी नहीं बदलता एक ही जैसे जुआ अवस्था में रहते हैं संसार नष्ट हो जाता है बदलता बदलता नष्ट हो जाता भगवान कभी नष्ट नहीं होते इसलिए कहीं भी भागवत में रामायण में पुराणों में वेदों में शास्त्रों में कहीं भी ऐसा नहीं है कि जीव ही ब्रह्म है इसलिए यदि किसी से सुने होंगे तो उसको भूल जाइए भगवान दुख में बिल बिलाता नहीं है रोता नहीं है उसका जन्म मरण नहीं होता है आता है और आंखों से उजल हो जाता है अभी भी वही कृष्ण का जब दर्शन करेंगे कोई वही हाथ में बंसी ली हुए राधा जी के साथ राम का दर्शन होगा तो वही रामचंद्र जी उसी अवस्था में जुआ अवस्था में सीता जी के साथ उनका अदल बदल कुछ नहीं इसलिए जीव कदापि ब्रह्म नहीं हो सकता इसलिए बतलाया है उपनिषदों में नित्यो नित्याना चेतन चेतना नाम वो नित्यों में परम नित्य है आत्माओं में परमात्मा है इसलिए वो कभी भी जीव ब्रह्म नहीं हो सकता है ये सब चीजें बिना गुरु कृपा के नहीं होगी जस्य देवी पराभक्ति जथा देवी तथा गुरु तस्यंते कथिता ही यार्थ प्रकाशंते महा जो कोई अपने गुरु को कृष्ण से कम नहीं समझेगा जैसे भगवान की सेवा करता है उनके प्रति श्रद्धा है वैसे ही अपने गुरु के प्रति हो तब वेद शास्त्र उसके हृदय में प्रकाशित हो जाए 
सक्षात हरि तेन समस्त शास्त्र समस्त शास्त्र कहते हैं कि गुरुदेव भगवान है किंतु कौन भगवान है सेवक भगवान है सेव्य भगवान नहीं है इसी रूप में समझना चाहिए ट्रांसलेशन देखो बिफोर पद्मन श्रीपद पद्मन समथिंग देखो दोज हु कंप्लीटली नो ऑल स्पिरिचुअल रियालिटी एंड दोज हु आर कंप्लीटली डिटैच फ्रॉम मटेरियल एंजॉयमेंट सच पर्सन्स एंगेज देमसेल्व्स इन द डिवोशनल सर्विस और द भक्ति ऑफ कृष्ण देयरफॉर इफ यू शुड हियर समथिंग हियर ओनली ऑफ कृष्ण इफ यू शुड स्पीक समथिंग स्पीक ओनली ऑफ हिम and if you will think something then think only of him by doing this all obstacles in our life will be destroyed as marge nicely explained if a good said one thing we should all understand very nicely and completely no one can become god no one can become bhagwan iswara or anything there are there are many people today even probably next week someone may come here and say i am god we are god and everyone is god sarva kalva vidam brahma all are the supreme lord the good man said this idea is completely erroneous completely false and if you've heard it you should quickly forget it otherwise devotion cannot enter your heart adi if everyone is god then why people are unhappy if everyone is god then why people are dying and afflicted by old age there were these days we see many gods the stomach sticking out walking with a stick in the wheelchair but we never see like this with krishna and lord ram krishna he never appeared older than 15 years old even krishna never has any mustache what to speak of beard and white hairs there the whole world changes but the forms of krishna sri ram etc they never change there is no change in them therefore if anyone has seen god they always see krishna what playing his flute in a very young form with radharani on his left hand side if they see ram how do they see ram exactly in the form as he is described in the ramayan with sita and his devotees therefore scripture has said we are not no one can become god but we can become the servants of god nitya nitinanam chetanas chetananam of all the tunnels the supreme lord is the supreme eternal of all conscious entities he is the supreme conscious entity deva how can we understand this scripture has says yasya devi tatagoro we should understand the spiritual master is not different than krishna he is not krishna but he is not different than krishna guru should not be considered to be less than the supreme lord even though he is not the supreme lord therefore guru is like krishna but he is not beside bhagwan or the supreme lord the enjoyer guru dev is always Asray Bhagwan or that former Bhagwan who always engaged himself in service to Krishna he is Asray Bhagwan the servant he is not beside Bhagwan God himself okay. ab thodi si guru ki mahima ke upar mein ajay ajay ye kya naam ajay brahmachari ha ajay brahmachari आचार्य अजय जी कुछ बोलिए संक्षेप में संभल करके बोलिएगा ज्यादा भी जब राधा गोविंद की जय आचार्य <laughs> इक्वल टू गॉड एंड समय मोर देन गॉड 
when we were child, we have been taught if Gobind and Guru appear together, then who, who had to go first? Guru Gobind do khare kaakau lagau paai balihari guru apano Gobind diyo batai. If Gobind and Guru come together, then first go to Guru. Because Guru defines Krishna. If no Guru, we can't know Krishna. And also, Mantre Deve Dvije Tirthe Daivagye Bhaisaje Gurau Bhavana Yadrisi Yasya Siddhir Bhavati Tadrisi. The person who has, if you have that bhav, that mood only, then you can achieve that Krishna Prema. I'll, I would like to tell a short story. Some people say, oh, I have my wife, my kids, my business. How can I leave all those things? How can I chant? How can I do bhakti? How can I leave my family? And always Guru says about spiritual world, nothing about material world. But we live here. We are suffering from so many problems here. How to dissolve these problems? But I think Guru helps everywhere. He is able to solve your all problems in this world and he is also able to help you when you leave this world in a spiritual world. There was a very big businessman. He had a very big business. He employed so many workers but he was unable to complete his orders and jobs. He was helpless and he went to Gurudev. He asked, Oh Gurudev, I have very big business, so many employees, so many workers, but still I have so many words left. What to do? Help me do something. Gurudev said, don't worry, I'll help you. It's my duty to help my disciples where you are. They need my help. And he gave a mantra. He said, chant this mantra 11 times, and when you complete 11th, one ghost will appear and order that ghost what you want to do. That disciple businessman became very happy. He went, ho he went home and he chanted 11 times and one ghost appeared. And he said, tell me what you want me to do for you. <laughs> businessman was a little bit scared. But he knew that I have got this mantra from Gurudev. So this ghost is not going to hurt me. Businessman said, I have very big business and I want you to complete my own works. He said, okay, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I will work for you, but there is a condition. If you don't tell me any work, then I'll kill you. <laughs> Make sure you will always, you must have some works for me. If you don't have any work for me, I'll kill you. Businessman said, no worries, not a problem. I have thousands of workers. They work double shift, morning, evening, and they are unable to complete it. And you are alone. That day will never come in my life. Who <laughs> said, okay, don't worry. I'll do it. Tell me what to do. He said, go to Germany, America, Britain, wherever he has his factory. He told about everything. He gave his file, order numbers, everything. Ghost said, okay, don't worry. He was a ghost, very powerful. He completed whole words within some hours. And came back again. Businessman was surprised. Oh my God, how did he complete it? And then, Ghost oh <laughs> told, remember Kondisar, I, I have, you have promised me that you must have works for me and now you have nothing. What should I do? Now I'll kill you. Disciple was scared and he ran away to Gurudev and went to Guru and asked, Gurudev, help me, help me, help me. Gurudev asked, what happened? He told the story that Ghost told me that I should have works for him and now I have nothing. 
what to do? Now he is ready to kill me. Help me, save me. Gurudev says, don't worry. Just he took a Harinam Mala and gave it to disciple. Take it, go home and give it to that host and tell him, keep chanting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. He went to ghost and told ghost, take this mala, sit here and chant. And when you are, I want any word, I'll tell you, stop chanting and do my work. <laughs> chanting, this job will never be finished. And when chanting will finish, he will not be ghost. <laughs> so Guru helps everywhere. But there is a condition, we listen to Gurudev. Yesterday Gurudev also told Padma Maharaj was saying, and in Srimad Bhagavatam, Gokarana Maharaj told same Bhagavat to Dhundakari after seven days. He was ghost, but he changed his ghost journey was destroyed and charter plane, special plane from Vishnu with Dutas came there. All people were sitting there. So many listeners, so many devotees, so many disciples, they went to Gokarna Maharaj and told, this is not fair. We are also your disciple. We are listening same Srimad Bhagavat Katha for seven days and plane is taking only one person. Why not us? Gokarna Maharaj said, yes, you were part of this Katha, but you didn't hear Bhagavat Katha. He told there are four conditions, four things, one listeners Listeners must have four things. Vishwasaha Guru Vakkesu Swasmin Dheeratta Bhavana Mano Durnigrahas Mano Dosa Jayasceva Kathayam Nishchalamati The first thing Gurudeva is saying Shraddha, Vishwas, Guru Padishth, Vakkesu, Vishwas, O Rama Shraddha. It means complete faith in each and every sentence of Guru is Shraddha. Listeners must have that Shraddha. They must have faith in each and every sentence. They should not filter. We filter whatever we need, we take it. Whatever we don't need, filter it. And said, Thank you. Very good. Very good. Now, Sripad Madhav Maharaj will explain the glory of Gurudev and about Narada and Das Dev dialogue. Gyana Timidandhasa Gyananjana Salakaya Chaksurun Militam Yena Tasma Isvi Gurave Namaha Vancha Kalpaturupas Chakripas in the Bhayevacha Patitan and Pava Nepo Vaisnabepo Namo Namaha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I pay my humble obeisances on the lotus feet of my Paramaradha Guru Pad Padma Om Vishnu Pad Ashtodra Hathasimad Bhukti Vedanta Shlava Manasai Maharaj and Om Vishnu Pad Puribraja Gacharya Varja Ashtodra Hathasimad Bhukti Vedanta Shlava Manasai Maharaj I pay my obeisances at the lotus feet of my spiritual grandsire, Nitta Lila Prasun Vishnupad, Sila Bhukti Pragyan Kesabhusai Maharaj, and Nitta Lila Prasun Vishnupad, Sila Bhukti Vedanta Swami Maharaj. I pay my obeisances all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, headed by Tiddhati Sannasis, and I congratulate, I congratulate all audiences. Sila Gurudeva Vodami, discuss about some Guru Tattva, and dialogue between Sri Narad and Sri Vyasdev. As you put your heart 
of the Lotus Slip Shri Gurudev. Although not here in this street, as before you have heard, so Guru means, just we have heard, Gu means Andhakar, means darkness, Ru means light. So what is the darkness? We don't know who am I. I don't know why the three, three torments slapped me. I don't know what is lead to my ultimate goal. Guru can remove this all darkness and can give me the light that we are eternal servant, servant of Supreme God. And there is some relation between God and myself. Who can give this knowledge is Guru. Moreover, Srimad Bhagavata explained in very elaborately the symptom of Gurudev. How I can know who is perfect or bona fide Guru or not? Just like if you see anything, then you want to judge this is proper or not. So we have to judge this thing through Bhagavatam. We could not do by our own material knowledge. Bhagavata has told us. Tasmat Gurum Prapad Deita, Jigasu Se Uttamam, Sabde Parija Nisratam, Brahman Upasamasrayam, Tasmat Gurum Prapad Deita. Tasmat means, the Sanskrit word means for this reason. What is the reason? We want or not. All we are swept by threefold miseries. Means Adhadmik, Adi Dhaibik, Adi Bhautik. Adhadmik means that we are. We want or not, due to your uncontrolled mind, we suffer always. Sometimes we are very happy, sometimes very unhappy. Adi Bhautik. Adi Bhautik means the distress caused by other living entity. Just like you are walking, a scorpion sting you, snake bite you, or any bull hit you, this is due to other living entity. And Adi Daivik, the cause due to demigods, like in America, snowstorm going on, <clears throat> some have too much cold, some have too much flood, some have drought, all this due to demigods. So when we are sleeping by three torments, our mind is very disturbed, we want peace and tranquility of mind and want to be eternal happy. So, for eternal happiness, then we never come in this world. And just like you have heard that Lord Ram and Lord Krishna has no mustache, no beard, no change in their life, in their age. So same way, when you do bhajan and attain the Vishnu Lok, then your body will be like them, it never be changed, no one will be there. So Tasma Guru Prabhupada Tasa, then disciple must surrender to Gurudev. Who is Guru? How you know his bona fide Guru or not? In the second line is told, that Sabde Paricha Nisnatam Brahman Upasamasyam. This definition has two symptoms. One is called primary symptom, another secondary symptoms. The secondary symptom is this Sabde Cha Nisnatam must be expert in all scriptures. It called Sastra. What is Sastra? The definition of Sastra. Riksami Yathar Vancho Haradam Pancha Ratrakam. Mula Ramayana Chaiva Sastra Mitta Vidhiyate Guruda must be qualified and expert in all Vedas Ramayana, Mahabharata, all Puranas headed by Srimad Bhagavatam If devotee or disciple has any doubt Scottie Trump's speech of Guruda can rule it out Or you can send me email after 6 months I reply you Not like this And Upasamasrayam must be detached from this material world this material world, they are always attached with eat, drink and be merry. Means how up your much color. Guru will not be like this. In this world, either male or female, they are engaged in either 3W or 3M. For 3W, then for male, they are always engaged 3W, omen, wine and oil. And for female, 3M, 3M means Men, marijuana, money. So Buddha must be detached from all these things. This is a secondary symptom. The primary symptom is this. This must be realized soul. How we can understand realized soul? 
So this picture told to test him one year and Gurudev will test disciple one year and disciple will test Gurudev one year. But disciple is not so qualified to know he is qualified or not. Now have to come Vaishnav Association. Vaishnav will help you to understand his prophet Guru or not. Guru's position is so high. Even Lord incarnate in this world, he have to adopt Srila Gurudev. Just like Marjara Purushottam Lord Ram incarnate in this world, he took initiation from Vasishtha Rishi. He, Sita Devi, Lakshman Urimila, Bharat Mandavi, Satuna Sutakirti, all took initiation from Vasishtha Rishi. Moreover, Lila Purushottam Krishna Chandra incarnate in this world, he took initiation from Bhaguri Rishi. So many things, oh, Sandipani's Guru, Sandipani Rishi was his school teacher. And moreover, Prem Purushottam, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu incarnate in this world, he took initiation from Ishwar Puripad. Everywhere is compulsory. So what to say about human beings? So who composes Bhagavad for the whole world? Vasudev Ji. One day he was sitting in his ashram, but his mind was not fixed. He was little disminded. The meantime, Sinarati, his Gurudev, appeared there. And he asked Vasudev, he looked like she was a little unhappy. What is the cause? Vasudev told, oh Gurudev, I don't know what is the cause of my unhappiness. Vasudev told, Srila Naradasi told, you have composed so many Vedas. You have Puras. divided Vedas. You have divided Vedas and composed Brahma Sutra, did so many Upanishads, even for the all common people you made Mahabharat, still you are not unhappy, still not happy? No Guru, I did all this thing. For I don't made, know. Puran you have made Puran. <coughs> yeah, you manifested Puran also. <coughs> Like, yes, Gurudev, I did everything. I divided Vedas, Puran, Upanishad, Brahma Sutra, Mahabharata. Still I am not happy. But I could not understand myself why I am so unhappy. Just like in ancient time there is not medical science in allopathic side. There is only Ayurvedic doctor. Ayurvedic doctor can feel the pulse and tell what kind of disease you have and they can give medicine. Same way, Vasudevi told, you are spiritual doctor, you are my Gurudev. I could not understand, you can feel my pulse and tell what is the cause of my unhappiness. Vasudev, when he told to Guru Naradisi and completely surrendered, then Naradisi told, sometime in Purani told, Siv is saying Bhagavan, sometime Kali is saying Bhagavan, Brahma is saying Bhagavan. Have you told about Krishna that he is saying Bhagavan? Ete chang sakala apungsa krishna stu bhagavan sen. No Gurudev, I don't know. Have you told that Krishna being supreme personality Godhead, he appeared in this world in form of Ram, Nishingo, etc. Ramadi, Murti, Sukala, Niyamuna, Kishtam. No Gurudev. Have you told, have you write any here, Krishna being supreme personality Godhead, he controlled by his sakhas. Just like I am giving one example to clear the point. Once Krishna was playing with Siddhams and others, and Krishna and Siddham was fighting each other, wrestling match. And Siddham defeated Krishna. After a few minutes, they all alone began to clap and told, Oh, I am winner, I am winner. All Sakas told, Liar, we have seen that Siddham defeat you, how you can say, that you win the race? He sort of listen. According to wrestling match, when my back was touched with R, Sidam on top of my chest, then my nose was up, Sidam nose was down. So my nose was up means I won the race. <laughs> That's the told, have you written all this thing? No, brother, I don't know all this thing. Then again Bas told, have you written any here? That Krishna being supreme person is Godhead, he controlled by parental mood, like Mother Yasoda and Nanda Baba. When Krishna is stealing butter here and there, all Prajavasis, they complain. Mother Yasoda, oh Yasoda, 
You are kind of stealing butter here and there. If you not control him, one day with Jack will be out thief. And not only that, he make a group and he became gangster. So, mother thought, why Krishna is stealing butter here and there? Is this true? Mother was never believe that Krishna may steal butter. So, one day, Krishna going to steal butter and what happened? One gopi caught him red-handed. And he told, oh Maya, you are not my mother. Gopi told, today I am not listening anything to you. Every day you are doing this mischief thing. And your mother never believed that you can steal butter. You are thief. Today I must drag you to your mother. So then Gopi, according to Indian tradition, she covered her own face and covered Krishna and dragging him towards Nanda Mahal's house. On the way, because when Krishna was there, whole group was there. Even the son of that Gopi girl was also there. After some time, Krishna told, Oh mother, my body is so fragile, so soft, much more softer than butter. Moreover, my mother put golden dangle, it is burning me so much. Can you switch up other hand, please? Mother, oh, now I understand you want to run away from here because your home is close by. No, mother, you can check, take my other hand, then you can switch up. Yes, I can do that. Then Krishna, by his eyes, called his, his friend, the son of that same lady, and took his hand, and Krishna, by other way, went to his own bedroom, just, just like he sleeping with mother. And when mother go for work, he keep on big pillow and keep Krishna's hand just like holding mother. And mother Yasoda doing household work. He's so absurd in household work. What is doing? Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhapeti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhapeti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Time that Gopi came knocking the door. Yasode! Oh, Yasode! Mother was so absurd. Remembering Krishna's child pastime, then lady became more louder and louder. Yasode! Mother Yasoda came. Oh, why calling so loudly? In brief, do. My son is sleeping. He may wake up. Oh, yes, yes, my son is sleeping. Your son was stealing butter. My son is stealing butter. I don't believe this. Well, okay. Now, where is son? I can show you just now. In the meantime, Krishna coming from his bedroom. Maya, I am hungry. Maya, I am hungry. And when the lady took a bell, he saw, she saw his own son he caught. <laughs> and Krishna told mother, look. I am small boy. How I can steal butter? Look. Her son stealing butter at his own house, they are so behaving miserly, not feed their own son even. <laughs> but they will go, they will steal butter at their own house. So they are always doing this. That's it. Narada said, have you written all this thing? No, no Gurudev, I don't know. My mother just said, Titan Krishna, have you written? I don't know Gurudev. <coughs> have you written that Krishna being supreme person of Godhead, he controlled, completely controlled by gopis. Even he told, Smaragarala khandanam, Mamasira simandanam, Dehi padapallava mudaram, Anna paraya nirvada samuyam. No, Gurudev, I don't know. Then, what happened? Then Narada Sri told, Bhakti yogena manasi sammak, Pranihiti amale, Apasat purusam purnam, Mayanji dapasyam. He surrendered in the lotus feet of Gurudev completely, by Bhakti Jo, he has seen Krishna, Supreme Person of Godhead, with his all associates, and he saw Maya behind Krishna. Thank you. So, if someone surrendered in Bonaparte Guru completely, he can take the darshan of Sri Krishna and his associates, one day will attend the service of Supreme Godhead, being in Golok Vrindavan. Then Narodisi, to make his faith, he told his life history, 
how he came in this stage. And next thing, we'll listen from Guru Lotus Lee. Hare Krishna. Pancha Kalpata Rupasya Pipa Sindhu Khaye Vacha Patita Nanta Vane Bho Vishnu Bho Namo Namo Vyas Ji Vedon Ka Vibhaar Kiya Aur Uska Sarsang Kalan Karke Brahma Sutra Ya Saririk Sutra Ki Rachana Ki Aur महाभारत को बनाया 18 पुराण 18 उपपुराण 18 शाखा पुराण ये उन्होंने किए सब कुछ किया तो भी वो दुखित थे क्यों दुखी ये नहीं समझ सके उस समय उनके गुरु नारद जी आए नारद जी ने पूछा तुम दुखी कैसे हो तुमने तो ये सारे काम किए वेदों का विभाग इत्यादि किया महाभारत रामायण महाभारत इत्यादि लिखा पुराण लिखा कुछ ये गुरु जी यही तो मुझे पता नहीं है मैं नहीं समझ पा रहा हूं आप कृपा करके बतलाइए उस समय में नारद जी ने कहा तुमने धर्म अर्थ काम और मोक्ष की बातें जो हैं इसी को वेदों में पुराणों में महाभारत में लिखा मारभाट पढ़ने से आदमी वीर होकर के लड़ने के लिए तैयार हो जाएगा तामसिक भाव भी बढ़ जाएगा तुमने इनका जैसे वर्णन किया धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष और वर्णाश्रम धर्म के भगवान कृष्ण के संबंध में नहीं लिखा भगवान स्वयं है कृष्ण ये कहीं लिखा नहीं क्या जैसा कि उन्होंने बतलाया क्या तुमने कृष्ण के जन्म से लेकर और जो लीलाएं की जितने पृथ्वी के भार स्वरूप राक्षस थे उनको राक्षसों को मारा राष्ट्र लीला की मैया जसोदा ने उन्हें बांध दिया वो खल में गोपियों के चरणों में तुम गिरे कृष्ण ऐसे प्रेम की बातें लिखा अ तो नहीं तो ओ इसीलिए तुम्हारी ये दुर्दशा हुई है तुम इसको लिखो कैसे लिखो ओ भक्ति जोग में समाधिस्थ हो और वहीं पर भगवान का तुम्हें ये जितनी भी लीलाएं हैं सबको देख सकोगे देखो मैं अपना जीवन चरित्र बतला कैसे मैंने भगवान को पाया उनको तत्व को समझा और उनकी ये सब ऐश्वर्य और माधुर्य में लीलाएं प्रकट हुई हमारे हृदय में तुमको बतलाता हूं यही कल हम लोग आज तो समय हो गया कथा का विश्राम कर रहे हैं दे रहे हैं और कल इन सुंदर कथाओं का कल हम लोग विश्लेषण करेंगे आप लोग जैसे आ जाए हैं कल भी मैं समझता हूं रविवार है आप लोग अवश्य छ बजे पधारेंगे हम लोग छ बजे ही कथा आरंभ कर देंगे गौर प्रेमानंदे Therefore, we are here in the history of Veda Vyas. So, Veda Vyas is the incarnation of God who took the Vedas and wrote them. From before it was only spoken, he put them onto pen and paper for our benefit. Therefore, Vyasadev he performed so many duties. Before there was only one Veda. But Vyasadev divided the one Veda into four sections Vidata, Samar, and Yajur Veda. Then, in order to help ordinary persons, he compiled Upanishads especially the Mahabharat, the 18 main Puranas, the 18 Upapuranas, and the 18 Saka Puranas. After compiling all this, then he made Brahma Sutra, Vedanta Sutra. But even after doing so much work, describing so many varieties of material and spiritual life, he was still unhappy, depressed. Even he could not understand why I'm feeling depressed. 
that time Gurudev says, even if you're an incarnation of God without spiritual master, you cannot understand spiritual life. Therefore, Narad Muni came, the spiritual master of Vyasadeva. So he said, oh, Vyasadev, you are not looking happy. He said, Gurudev, I know. He said, then what is your problem? And Vyasadev said, even I cannot understand my own problem, but you are the expert doctor. You please tell me my disease and also give me my medicine. Therefore, Sri Narad Muni said, you have described only about Dharma, Arta, Karma and Moksha. You have described only about mundane religiosity and its results, economic development, you have described about religious sense gratification, and last you have described about liberation, but you have not described anything about the Supreme Lord or His devotion. Then you have not described about Sri Krishna, how He took birth, what activities He performed, like removing all the demons who were burdened in the earth. You have not discussed his activities like Ras Lila and how he was bound by Madhya Soda. You have not described how he has fallen at the feet of the gopis. You have not described any of the pastimes of Krishna. You have described all materialistic knowledge, but you have not described the essence of spiritual life, which is service to Krishna. That is why you are not satisfied. Therefore, Narad Muni blessed him and Vyasadeva went into Samadhi, Bhakti Yoga and Amanasi. His mind was absorbed in Bhakti's Bhakti Yoga. And in his Samadhi, what did he see? The incarnations and Krishna and all his activities. And what he saw in his meditation, he wrote. And that is the book, Srimad Bhagavatam, which we are hearing for the last three days for. So Guru said, now time is over. So tomorrow from is Sunday, we'll start our lecture at exactly six o'clock. So please don't be late. Bring your friends. Go Premanandi. Jai Shila Gurudev Ki Jai Shila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna
Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Yeah.